Hey everybody, welcome back to Wingnut Spa. Johnny Wingnut and the Ant Man. What's up at the Webs? Coming to you with a special beer review. Special. Anthony, do you know what beer this is? I have no idea. You will not tell me. I won't tell you. So look away from the camera. Don't look away. Keep looking away. Keep looking away. Keep looking away. Why does it sound like a paper bag? It's not a paper bag, it's a plastic bag. Oh. Alright, you can look. You can look now. <laughs> Nice. Draft beer jelly bellies. We actually found them. And I found them online. You can find anything on the interwebs. You can find a 55 gallon pail, 55 gallon <laughs> drum of lube. Of lube? Yeah. 900 something dollars on Amazon. It's got good reviews. All right, I guess if you need that much lube. Now, when you, well, I'm just going to put some in the glasses. Take a whiff of the bag. You probably get more of the aroma that way. Yeah. Uh, it has that, what I would describe the aroma as a redemption center. center. I was just going to say. A beer that. redemption center. Yeah, like old I've tried beer. a few of these before. They don't taste like spoiled, rancid beer. Okay. But it definitely has the stale beer, beer smell yeah. that is in like your typical redemption center. So we'll pour some beer, we'll pour some beer out. <laughs> Have as much as you want, but figure we'll uh, throw them in the glasses. Nice. So, so the light comes through pretty good, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, anyway, what about color? Color, it's. They have a very. Uh, the they have a nice shimmery, a shimmer, shimmery uh, coat, like a pearl shimmer to them. Pearlescent, golden pearlescent coat. Yeah. They smell. They still smell like a redemption center. Yeah. So, cheers. <laughs> Creamy mouthfeel. It's a little chewy. A little chewy. Definitely thick on the palate. Yeah, it sits right in there. Sweet. Not bitter. Definitely no no hoppiness. Yeah. Um if I was to compare this to like a real beer, really tough to say. But it would be definitely like one of the macro brew generic lager or bland a lot of sweetness it just it's a jelly like, bean it tastes like a jelly bean right however I bought some Tabasco jelly beans <laughs> and it tastes like Tabasco because they actually use Tabasco so you get that vinegary bite from the Tabasco in the jelly bean so they did a pretty good job capturing the Tabasco essence yeah they did a good job of capturing the aroma of Beer, or center. stale, spoiled, not spoiled beer, but stale beer. I think most of the flavoring in this Jelly Belly, though, is in that pearlescent coating. Once if you once you get past that and you get the inside, because mm -hmm. you know you, if you squeeze a Jelly Belly, it kind of flakes off. Yeah. I think that's where the flavor is. I think that's just paint. Yeah, it's lead paint. They painted these. <laughs> There's no flavor on the outside. That's where it comes from. Mm -mm. That pearlescence is just paint. It's not just paint, dude. Food grade paint. <laughs> anyway, it's a novelty. Has more aroma than it does taste. It does, yeah. Um, I didn't have super high expectations, but I was hoping that these would taste like beer. Yeah. Even if it tasted like a Bud Light. It's a stretch. Like, they should have made it a little more bitter. Yeah. Get some hops. Hops yeah. don't have alcohol. Yeah, just put yeah, the you hop, could, you could like, have hopped uh, it up. In the mixture somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That hop oil. Been... Yep. Totally could have been done. Maybe they'll make an IPA or make a chocolate stout. No, they won't. No. This this was a fail. It was a pretty cool special beer though. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> if you want some, come on by to Wingnuts Bath. Yeah. Free samples. I'll give it a uh, two out two? of ten. Yeah, I'll give it a three. <laughs> on the scale of jelly bean. Yeah, on the jelly bean flavor scale. Yeah, because like the pear and the raspberry, those are closer to a ten. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Those are good. This, <laughs> not so good. Definitely, anyway, definitely different. Even the Tabasco, I'd give the Tabasco a seven. It was Tabasco, that close? Yeah, it's good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Chive on. Later. See you next time. Webs.